Hey everybody, it's Fabian here with another Stools and Tools video. Uh, today we're going to try to add a stopper to the bathtub. Um, I don't have the lever with the plunger that stops the water, so when we're giving our son baths, um, we haven't been able to fill the, the bathtub a little bit. So I want to replace the drain with a uh, drain stop. So basically this is a you just press down on here and it will stop the water from draining instead of using the, the lever. So we're gonna keep the overflow plate. I don't need to use this thing here, just need the bottom piece. Um, so that's gonna be to this morning's project. Uh, in order to help me remove the drain, I bought this uh, drain remover. So we'll see, hopefully that helps me. And I've also got some plumber's putty and I'll check in with you all later. Okay, so I was able to remove the old drain. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, and I noticed that there's some sort of uh, rubbery seal over here uh, I cleaned around it as best as I could um, but I don't think I'm gonna remove that I think I'm gonna just keep it there and add some sealing tape around the new drain cover and just install it with that with some plumbers um, putty so yeah, I don't think I even need this uh, washer. I believe this washer from the videos I've seen goes in between the tub body and the drain pipe, but I don't think I need it. So I'm just gonna install some sealing tape on the drain and install it. So let's, let's do that now. Okay, so I filled the bathtub with a little bit of water to see if there's any leaks. Uh, doesn't look like it's going anywhere. I'm gonna check underneath um, in the basement and if there's nothing down there, I think we're, we're done here. I'll be right back, let's see what we got down there. Okay, it looks like there's no leaks down here and looking at from this point of view you can actually see all that um like foam dried up putty whatever that is that was there before i'm glad i didn't attempt to remove that from the top because looks like there's quite a bit of it down here so they must have done that to um have a good seal on the top maybe the, the cutout of the bathtub was a little too big but yeah it doesn't look like there's a washer or anything in between that it looks like it's just all that um the, that rubber all right so i think i'm gonna go back on the top check it out one more time and call it a day all right guys thanks for watching it looks like this has been another successful stools and tools project now um now our son can get nice baths in the tub and mommy can get some bubble baths so let's see if this drains there it goes pretty nice system Pretty easy to close and open. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one.